What's evil is not money. What's evil is to wake up at a place that you hate, that you know is less than your potential, but you think that you're stuck. It's a beautiful day today. And the reason that it's a beautiful day isn't because this is a really gorgeous view from my living room. The reason it's a beautiful day is because I realized that the way that the cultural engineers have set society up is to stop you from ever getting ahead financially. And I found out how to break through. So if this video, if that interests you, I'm gonna be breaking down seven steps to bring more money into your life quickly. But first, let me, let me preface this. The way society is set up is to keep you from ever getting ahead financially. And I can prove that to you. Nine out of 10 people die with less than $10,000 and virtually no financial assets. 80% of people live paycheck to paycheck. About 80% of Americans said that they lose sleep over finances. The vast amount of the world has just enough to keep going, but never enough to ever have real financial freedom. And a lot of people think that's just the way it is. I don't believe that. If you believe or you wanna believe, there's a better way, keep watching this video because I figured it out. It wasn't that long ago, I was staring at a crappy apartment wall in an apartment in Hollywood, smelling my neighbor smoking cigars, wafting right into our window. My wife was in credit card debt and I, I was out of luck. My life started to change. And the reason my life started to change is first and foremost, I learned these seven steps. Second of all, I changed my thinking. And I started to say things like, large sums of money come to me quickly and easily. And I didn't just say it like, light some incense and go, large sums of money come to me quickly and easily. I actually started to believe it. See, most people's belief systems are, they aren't good enough to make money, they aren't smart enough to make money, they can't do it, you know? And I'm gonna show you how to break through, but first, if, if you never watch one of my videos, my name's Jake Ducey. Um, when I was 19 years old, I dropped out of college. I decided I was gonna become a big successful author. Nobody else thought that. All the publishing companies said no, and um, I thought, you know, maybe this is the time to give up. So if you feel like that, or you're not sure if you really can break through financially, by the time I was 27, I was a millionaire. By the time I was 30, I was a multi-millionaire. And I retired my wife a few years ago and my life changed. And I don't tell you that to, to like brag or say like, look how cool my view is. Because there's probably people watching this video that have done better than me, but I can say I've done better than I thought I would. There's a couple million, uh, being a multimillionaire, um, it's nothing to brag about. There's tons of people doing far better than I am. But I've done pretty well, and I did well because I learned these steps. And I'm gonna break them down for you in this video. But first I wanna say one of the things that truly changed my life was my success hypnosis. I made a success hypnosis for myself because what's important to understand is everybody's brainwashed and everybody's hypnotized. That's not a conspiracy, it's not a tinfoil hat thing. Psychologists tell us 95% of your life, so think about everything in your life, 95% of it, it's subconscious, it's unconscious habitual behaviors. So if you liken that to money, 95% of everything is just a pattern program you've inherited from society and from childhood. And most of society is broke. And if most of society is broke, that means we've inherited all of these negative habits, thoughts, beliefs, perceptions, behaviors about money that keep you broke. And the number one way to start to change that is to start to brainwash yourself for financial success. So make sure you get my free financial success hypnosis. It's right there down below. About a million people from all over the world have used it. Because a lot of people work hard. Why is it people work hard, but they don't get ahead financially? 
It doesn't mean that they need to work harder if they're already working eight, 10 hours a day. It means that the programming that's controlling that work is blocking them. So right there down below is my free financial success hypnosis. It's pinned to the comments and in the description right there down below. Smash the like button on this video. Send it out in the YouTube universe if you're ready to attract more, more money. Give me a comment down below that says large sums of money come to me quickly and easily right there down below. And let me know where in the world that you are coming from. The fact is, it's never been easier to earn money. Regardless of what the world tells us, it's never been easier. Even after the government declared a bunch of people non-essential and shut everything down, it's still never been easier. But you have to be ready for it. Most people aren't ready for it. They would rather just have their belief systems prove to them that the world's unfair, it's too hard, because that's the way the program is set up in the subconscious. So comment down below, yes, I'm ready. Yes, I'm ready right there down below. If you haven't yet, make sure you hit the subscribe and bell notification. The bell notification is what notifies you for new videos. So it's right there down below to hit that. Check out my free success hypnosis. And now I'm gonna dive right into these very important uh, seven steps that can truly change your life financially. Let's go right into it. So this is a big video. So I got a bunch of notes here. Uh, and I wanna start off with number one. And number one is either you succumb or you surmount. And the reason most people stay broke is they succumb. And what I mean by that is, does your thinking control your bank account or does your bank account control your thinking? Most people, their bank account controls their thinking. They look at it and they say, I'm broke. They're listening to this video right now already dismissing it because they're like, you don't understand. That's succumbing. You have to become a visionary. You know, we talk about like, oh, Steve Jobs, he's such a visionary. And we think like being a visionary is some rare genetic quality or something like that. Being a visionary just means you live from an inner vision. So the question is, what vision controls your financial future? Is it more of the same? Is it I'm broke, I'm broke, I'm broke, I'm broke? Or do you imagine the life that you want? Like I imagined having a beautiful bathroom with an epic tub that looks out over the beautiful red rocks. I imagined that, that became my vision. It, I didn't have it as a reality. I imagined it. I imagined my books being translated into other languages when every single publishing company said no. And I'll show you, here's my book in South Korean. So I want, you, I want to ask you a question. What is your vision? Here's my book in South Korean. I imagined this and everything that is real, as John Keats said, was once imagined. So the question is, are you going to succumb and react and say, well, this is just the way it is? Or are you going to surmount? Are you going to detach your consciousness from your present physical environment and build a new vision and allow that vision to control your thinking, which controls your emotions, which controls your behavior, which recreates your reality. This is a very, people People might go, well, let's just make it sound so simple. Well, think about it. Most people spend their entire lives just like an animal reacting to their financial environment. The only thing that separates you and I from a dog, really, is our ability to create our own environment. So the question is, are you creating your own financial environment or are you reacting to the one that you've been given from the world? That's step number one. Step number two is you need to think of yourself as only two things, an entrepreneur or an entrepreneur. Entrepreneur or an entrepreneur. A lot of people think of themselves as employees or they go to a job. If you think of yourself like that, you will never get ahead financially because it relies off you logging hours. Even if you work at a, I'm not saying quit your job. What I'm saying is rethink how you view yourself. You're either an entrepreneur or an entrepreneur. An entrepreneur is self-explanatory. You go into business for yourself and you solve other people's problems. An entrepreneur, you might have skills, right? You might be good at management. You might be good at accounting. You might be good at sales. You might be good at organization. And you add value to another business. I do both. I've always been an entrepreneur, started my businesses, started my YouTube channels, did all that stuff. I'm an entrepreneur too. There are other people, there's a celebrity that I work with. I do, with a couple of my guys, all the back end marketing. I work for him. 
So I do both. The reason that I say it's important to think of yourself as an entrepreneur and an entrepreneur, one or the other or both, is because it shifts your thinking. Money is a reward for service rendered. And the more you fill needs, the more money you earn. For example, this celebrity client that I have doesn't have a good online business. So I saw that and I said, hey, have you thought about X, Y, and Z? And they said, no, I hadn't thought about that. Why don't you help me? So I work for his business. It's not my business, it's his. But I've provided a lot of value. So I'm paid very, very, very well for it. I make money on the level I would if I owned my own business because I'm paid in direct ratio for the need for what I do, my ability to do it, and the difficulty it is in replacing me. And when you adopt that mindset of instead of thinking of trading your time for money, you still may do it, but instead of going, oh, I worked eight hours, instead take a step back and say, I provided X, Y, and Z value. And when you start to do it like that, you get better and you provide more value. Either you'll get a raise or you'll become more valuable to the marketplace and somebody else will hire you away from that position. This is the key because we live in a world where everybody's so entitled and very few people understand that money is just a reward for service rendered. And unless you change how you provide service, instead of just logging hours to the value you provide, you cannot make more money, it becomes impossible. And that's why most people stay on a treadmill their whole lives, they never make very much money in every year, they make about the same amount of money that they did before. So that's step number two. Step number three was life-changing for me. If you're with me still, make sure you smash the like button. Give me a comment down below. This is Jake, I'm with you. Comment down below, Jake, I'm with you. Let me know if you're with me. Step number three, I'm just heading outside because it's so nice. Um, step number three changed my life. And this was a, a hack that you can do no matter where you are in your life. And that was when I started gamifying money. I started gamifying my income. And the way that I did this is in short, burst goals that are measurable and time determined. So I'd go, all right, I'm making $200 a month. Let's see if I could turn it into 500. I have 90 days to do it. Pick a way to gamify your income. And the way that you do this is threefold. Number one, it needs to be time measured. Number two, it needs to be measurable, meaning you need to be able to track if it's gamified. And three, you need a reward. The reason you need a reward is because the brain is a dopamine uh, transmitter and receiver. The brain can bring more things to you if it knows it is rewarded. That's why we people get addicted to social media is because they're addicted to the dopamine hits from it. And the behavioral scientists that Facebook and these companies pay a bunch of money to have figured out how to hack the brain and basically make you addicted to it. But it all comes down to dopamine and serotonin. And because we're reward, uh, we're, we're wired for reward, pick a reward for yourself. So set a goal, go, I'm gonna gamify it. I'm gonna make X amount of dollars within X amount of days. And if I get it, I'm gonna do X, Y, and Z. You know, maybe you spend 10% of that money that you made on some fun trip, or maybe you get a massage. Pick anything that sounds fun as a reward and start to gamify it. Now, you wanna do this in short bursts. This isn't like a three month, drop my notes. This isn't like a three month or a three year thing. Make it three months, make it two months, make it 30 days. These are short bursts that are measurable that you can give yourself rewards for. Now, there's a lot of science behind this, gamifying your income, but I'll just tell you this. There is a certain magical power when you give your brain predetermined targets that are measurable. There's a term in, in psychology and in, in neuroscience, it's called um, a reticular activating system. And it's the part of your brain that focuses on the way it was programmed the same way a GPS does. You program a GPS and it's gonna get you there no matter what. Well, think about the, your financial GPS. Most people's financial GPS is programmed to keep them poor. So if you wanna know how your reticular activating system or how your financial GPS is programmed, all you have to do is look at the results you're getting in your life. 
What most people do is it goes back to step number one. They look at the results they're getting in their life. They don't like them, so they make excuses for them and they succumb to those results. Step number one was to succumb or surmount. Now, pull out a pen and pad and make a little list and start to gamify your income into measurable, time-controlled, reward-based games. Now, number four, this one's uh, one that we just genuinely aren't ever taught about. I learned it from my mentor, Bob Proctor, it changed my life forever. If you're with me, this is a long video and I'm trying to make this as valuable as humanly possible because the number one request I got is people were struggling financially and they wanted more help. So if you're with me, make sure you smash the like button, Give me a comment down below that says large sums of money come to me now or let me know, hey Jake, I'm with you. Because this one's important here on number four and I wanna make sure I'm not talking to myself in a camera and you're actually uh, here with me. Um, so number four is developing multiple sources of income. The way we're taught is you get a job and that's your income source and you keep it forever and hopefully it stays there. But what rich people do is they have many sources of income. The way that I do this is again, I like to gamify things. So my game, once I, I'd never heard of a, of a multiple source of income. Bob Proctor calls them MSIs. I'd never heard of it before. So what I started doing is gamifying. So every year I pick one new income source to develop. Ideally, these are things that have leverage. Maybe you're tied to profits. The reason they're leveraged is because you only have 24 hours in a day, so ultimately, you have to set up income systems where you're not just directly trading your time for money because there's only 24 hours in a day. Now, the way my wife and I did this is we pulled out a pen and pad and we wrote at the top of the paper, potential sources of income. And we listed out everything we could possibly think of. Baking cookies, uh, mowing lawns, like think of anything you could possibly think of. And then go back through and circle the top two or three and pick one of them to start on in your side and make it a goal to turn it into a certain amount of income within 12 months. So it might be turn, uh, add an extra 500 bucks a month, 1,000 bucks a month, 10,000 bucks a month, whatever it is that you want and gamify it the exact same way. So your objective is new income source producing X amount of dollars within the next 12 months. Now, one of the reasons this was difficult is because I had never heard of it before. It was almost like being right-handed my whole life and then trying to write lefty. So what I started to do is I developed a, a financial success hypnosis that started training me that money comes to me in increasing quantities through many sources on a continuous basis. Now, maybe in another video, I'll break down uh, all my different income sources and things like that, but it started with one and then it turned into, I don't know, at least a dozen. And I had to change not only how I was approaching, but how I was thinking. So if you want to use my success hypnosis to start to train your mind to develop multiple sources of income, be sure to check it out right there down below. It's jakeshypnosis.com. It's pinned to the comments and in the description right there down below, right? Because think of your mind like a computer operating system, right? When, when, the, when it's not working well and you keep getting the... Um, the, the loading circle, right? And the computer is going slow. What do you need? You need to update the software, maybe delete some viruses. Think of your mind the same way. It is an operating system and it largely works automatically just like a computer. But if it's full of viruses and outdated software, you can't get the output you want. So you have to change the input to change the output. And the way you change the input is by programming yourself for financial success as opposed to constantly recycling the same habits and beliefs that match your current financial reality. You have to recycle those, delete those viruses, update the software, and start programming yourself for the money you want, for the financial freedom you want, even before it arrives in your present life circumstances. And that's how you move from reacting to your finances to creating and controlling your finances. So you can check out my free success hypnosis right there down below. It's jakeshypnosis.com right there down below. Okay, the next one is to erase your childhood programming. So think about this. Up until the time I have a baby, she's uh, about maybe like 19 months old now. And think about yourself as a kid. So here's something interesting. 
Up until the time you're about six years old, you're in a brainwave state that is akin to hypnosis. So you don't have a conscious mind when you're little. You're like a sponge and you absorb everything around you. Well, guess what? What's the number one cause for divorce? Finances, financial issues. Think about the fact that I said earlier, nine out of 10 people die with less than $10,000 and virtually no financial assets. 80 something percent of people are living paycheck to paycheck. Think about the fact that a baby in a womb is in a brainwave state akin to hypnosis and it's absorbing everything from the parents. So think about that data point earlier, 75, 80% of people said they lose sleep over finances. That's going right into the baby. You are programmed to be broke. Unless you have rich parents, you have been programmed to be broke. Now, um, there's a lot of steps to decoding and reprogramming your childhood programming, but I want you to just think about what did you hear? And think of one top way. It might be that um, you aren't good enough, you aren't smart enough, money's bad, it's too hard, it's just the way it is. We're the Smith family and we never make much money. Think of one thing that you've been programmed with about money. Once you become aware of it, you become free of it. The problem is we've thought it and felt it for so long, it feels real, right? It seems real that when I was 19 years old that I was too young to make money, it seemed real. It was just a it was just a program I inherited from society I thought was real. But then ask yourself this question, is it really true? Is it really true that I'm not good enough, I'm not smart enough, I don't know how, I'm not from the right city, state, country, no one in my family has ever made it, therefore I can't make it. Is that really true? No, it's not really true. So comment down below one of those childhood programming ways, I just want you to identify one of them. One thing you've inherited from your parents, from your society, from your school system, from the adults around you. What is one negative belief system about money that feels real, that you're ready to let go of? And when you're ready to let go of, you can replace it with something else. So I didn't realize I had such a negative belief system about money. I was 19 years old, I dropped out of college. All the publishing companies said no. So I thought, well, I guess I'm too young. And it wasn't until I met my mentor, Bob Proctor, he said, why the hell do you always talk about how old you are? And I said, well, cause I, I don't know. He said, stop saying that. He said, you've developed a belief system that you are too young to earn money. And that's why you're broke. So he said, you need to stop that. So he made me rewrite a statement and program it into my head that said, I'm a world renowned author, seminar leader, and online personality making millions of dollars and inspiring millions of people. Notice they're both beliefs. One of them blocked me from making money and justified why I didn't have it. And one of them was the opposite. It goes back to step number one. Are you gonna succumb or are you gonna surmount? So let me know in the comments one of those belief systems and let me know one affirmation you're gonna replace. So every time you, that old pattern comes up, you stop and you go, whoa, 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 I just recognized it. And then you just simply replace it with the new belief system. This is why success hypnosis is so important. We're all brainwashed and we're all hypnotized. It's just a fact. Now the question is, are you brainwashed for success or are you brainwashed for mediocrity? So you can check out my free success hypnosis right there down below. It's jakeshypnosis.com. Okay, number six is ditch the losers. They could be nice and still be losers. You have to be able to objectively look at who is a loser. That doesn't mean they're a bad person. They're just kind of a loser financially. They say things like, oh yeah, you know, it's too hard. And you know, let's just watch Netflix. And you know, it's just the way it is. Look at the people you're surrounding yourself with and ask yourself, are these people that are gonna elevate you or are they gonna people that are gonna stagnate you? Everyone in your life is elevating you or stagnating you financially. So here's a couple steps to ditch the, the losers lovingly. Don't go as often and don't stay as long. Don't go as often and don't stay as long. It doesn't need, you don't need to be mean. You don't need to be rude. Just be able to love yourself enough to objectively look at the people you're surrounding yourself and ask yourself, are these people helping me achieve my goals or are they keeping me stagnant? They can be nice, you can love them, but it doesn't mean that they're helping you win, right? Because there's a law of the universe. Everything is creating or disintegrating. Everything is growing or dying. Everything is winning or losing. 
And financial life follows the same trajectory. So have the courage to love yourself enough, to stick with your goals enough, to surround yourself with people that are gonna uplift you. And if you don't have anyone around you like that in your life, that's no problem. It's better to be alone than in the company of people that are not gonna build you up. Now, last but not least, step number seven is don't blame the system. I agree. We live in a we live in a um, system that's quite become quite corrupt. They print infinite money. They give it to themselves. All these politicians trade stocks. By the time the money flow gets down to you and I, there's huge inflation. We're at record levels. Inflation. Credit card companies are super predatory. They don't even have the money. They print it. Essentially, the money is created out of thin air when you swipe your credit card. They don't have the money on their balance sheet, but they charge you 17% interest rates for it. The average person's in credit card debt. I agree, but there's two ways to approach this. One is you go, well, it's unfair, which was me. I thought, well, if Bernie Sanders won, then I'll be financially free. You know, if Trump wins, if Hillary wins, if Obama wins, and it's this cycle where we think somebody else is gonna solve our problems, or you think the whole system has to change for you to ever get financial independence. You can focus on that or you can focus on the other fact that the current system we have has pulled more people out of poverty in the last 20 years than all of human history. You can focus on the fact that we have tools and technologies we've never had before and it's easier than ever to earn money. You can focus on that. It's a choice between one or the other. And when, instead of looking at yourself as a victim to an unfair system in an unfair world, you start to look at yourself like a privileged person. You are privileged if you're watching this video and you have the Wi-Fi to watch this video. You are privileged if you are alive right now. If you were born 200 years ago, think about how much harder it would be. Way harder. I mean, for most of human history, we basically had forms of fascism and communism controlling everything. Governments controlled everything and we were plebes and servants that didn't even own our own land. And we just slaved away on it and we gave it all away to the kings and stuff. I mean, this is, it could be better, I agree, but it's the best it's ever been. I'm choosing to focus on that because I recognize that even though there's a lot of problems, even though there's a lot of issues, even though there's a lot of things that could be changed, even though there's a lot of things that could be better, it's never been better for me and you to earn more money. It's never been better. So let go of your anger at the system and redirect your energy. Use your anger into creative energy to earn more money. Stop saying that the whole world needs to change because quite frankly, it's probably not gonna change. At least not anytime soon. And you could spend all of your time and all of your energy saying, well, it needs to change. Or you can go, I don't care who's president, I don't care what's going on in politics, and I don't care what's going on in the economy. I'm gonna get rich. Well. The economy, oh my gosh. Guess what, there's a bunch of people that became billionaires during the Great Depression. It could be you, but you have to decide whether you're gonna submit or you're going to surmount. Are you going to succumb or are you going to surmount? You're smarter than you think, you're more powerful than you think, and you can earn more money than you ever thought possible. But you have to decide. The word decide is Latin for decide, and it means to, to die, to kill off any other alternatives. You have to decide that you're going to get rich. You have to decide. Well, that's easy to say. You have to decide that you're gonna spend extra time reading. You have to decide you're gonna develop new skills. You have to decide that you're gonna get a side hustle. You have to decide you're gonna stop wasting your time. You have to decide you're gonna let go of loser friends that are gonna just complain about the system in the world and they're just gonna live in their own misery and accept it. You have to decide you're gonna be different. You have to decide you're gonna build a new vision. You have to decide you're gonna go in your room, close your door, write your goals down on a piece of paper, gamify your income. You have to decide you're gonna do it. And you have to not accept any other alternative. And when you do this, you will break ahead financially. These were seven steps. I know this is a long video. If you're with me here, give me a comment down below and let me know. 
you know, when I make these long videos, I'm not sure if I'm wasting my time or not. Uh, so yeah, let me know in the comments down below if you enjoyed it. I'm going to recap these steps, but first, if you haven't yet, get my free success hypnosis. It's right there down below. It's jakeshypnosis.com right there down below. You just have to make positive movements. And one positive step you can make today is to start to erase the old negative belief system, the viruses that are keeping you in financial mediocrity. So get my free success hypnosis. It's right there down below. It's jakeshypnosis.com. And I'm just going to recap these steps. So step number one, I said, you either have to succumb or you have to surmount. Are you going to succumb and say, well, this is just the way it is, or are you going to surmount? Remember, being a visionary isn't just like Steve Jobs. Being a visionary is someone who lives from an inner vision instead of reacting. It's moving from reactionary to creation consciousness. It's building a vision of your dream house. It's building a vision of more than just house, of a feeling. It's a feeling of freedom. It's a feeling that you control your reality and you're not stuck where you are. And then number two is to think of yourself as an entrepreneur or an entrepreneur. If you work for somebody else, stop thinking of yourself as an employee and start thinking of yourself as an entrepreneur. An entrepreneur is someone with skills that improves the customer life, the business that you're working in, and you realize that money is a reward for service rendered and you can offer more service to your boss, to your job, to your customers. This is something you control. And when you have that shift, you realize that the biggest thing stopping you from earning more money isn't your boss that sucks. It's not working more hours. It's adding more value. An entrepreneur or an entrepreneur. And you can be both. I said earlier, I'm both. The next one is to, number three is to gamify your income. And the way that you do this is short burst goals that are measurable, time-determined, and reward-based. Measurable, time-determined, and reward-based. So when this video ends, pull out a pen and pad and make a 90-day gamified financial goal for yourself that has a reward. And then the next is to develop multiple sources of income. The way that I gamify this is I pick one new source of income I'm going to focus on for the year as a side, as a side gig that I'm gonna to try to turn into X amount of dollars in reoccurring income, continuous income. So you can make a big list and then go back through and circle the one or two best ones and focus on one of those, where in the next 12 months, you're gonna produce X amount of dollars on that. And every year you repeat the process. In 10 years, you have 10 sources of income. I mean, you could 10X your income in 10 years. You could probably do it in a lot less than that. But hey, 10X in 10 years would be great too. The next is to erase, number five is to erase your childhood programming. I said to think of one belief system that you inherited about money that is controlling your financial life. Erase it and rewrite it and build a new affirmation. I said you could comment down below your new affirmation right there down below in the comments. The next was to ditch the losers. They could, you could still love them and they could still be nice. But look, they're either helping you win or they're helping you lose and stay where you are. The next is don't blame the system. Because if you blame the system, you either have to totally change the system, which isn't going to happen anytime soon, or you need the government to help you. Government is the problem. So if you blame the system and then some politicians say, wait, vote for us, you know, we're going to help you, you're a victim, then they just have more control over your future. The goal is to have take 100% personal responsibility for your financial life and don't give up your power to anything or anybody. You're either submitting or succumbing. You're either submitting and succumbing, or you're either submitting and succumbing, or you're surmounting. Realize this is the best time in human history to be alive. Stop feeling sorry for yourself. I promise you, you're smarter than you think. You can do it. You can do it. Get inspired, get freaking fired up. And when you're fired up, you realize you're more powerful than you believe. So if you enjoyed this video, let me know where in the world you're coming from. I'd love to know um, I'm in the Southwest of the United States right now. Let me know where in the world, what city, what state, what country, where are you coming from? Give me a comment down below that says, I am having a financial breakthrough. Comment down below, I am having a financial breakthrough and decide.